Alright guys, it is Sinky here, and I just had a massive brainwave for what I want for Assassin's Creed 5. I guess this is just kind of like a, sm uh, like a small follow-up video to my other video that was actually quite popular on my channel, so let's get started. The idea I had for Assassin's Creed 5 would be an MMO kind of thing. Uh, kind of like the Elder Scrolls Online or Grand Star Online. Um, I don't particularly like the Assassin's Creed multiplayer. I find it a bit boring, and it's just not, re not really my cup of tea. But the idea I'd have it would be is that you'd be set maybe in France um, with kind of th the main core mechanics of Assassin's Creed. But um, maybe it'd be like you're given contracts, right? And then you, you create your own character and you design where you want them to be. You choose what your starting weapon would be. Maybe you start for the Hidden Blade. And as you rank up, you get more weapons. Like maybe, let's say there's 20 ranks. Maybe every few ranks you get a sword, then you get throwing knives, then you get a knife, then you get the rope dart, then you get the pistol. Um, that's just, I know 20 ranks doesn't exactly sound all that much, but it's just off the top of my head. And you, you work as a team like you do jobs or assassination contracts like you do kind of like in Grand Theft Online. I know this sounds really similar to it but I just think it'd be so cool and um, you work with other players to create your objective so let's just say um, or to complete your objective sorry so basically what you do let's say you had to assassinate some dude uh, maybe some Templar who's trafficking humans something like that what you do is you have to um, maybe get your friend to uh, to take out guards on the, on the other side and then get maybe your other friend to distract him and you take out his his personal bodyguards and then your other friend goes in and goes to the kill and maybe you get 1000 florins each and then you use that to upgrade your stuff um i think that's be such such a cool idea and um it's just and then when you rank up you rank up with your friends and all that and uh, you you get more access to clothing and you find out about the 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 history of the brother and all that and uh, how how the war was going at th that point in time um, I just think it's a very very exciting idea maybe you can PS4 players could play the Xbox One and Xbox One could play the PS4 because at the moment I kind of feel like if I was playing something like GTA Online um, I kind of feel like the game would be a lot better if I was able to play with people on other consoles because sometimes I join a session no one would be there and I'd be a bit bored and then I, I just, I just kind of lobby search looking for a game of at least uh, maybe 10 players and now it's gone down to like 6-7 in each game and then it's hard to fill a race or a team deathmatch it's kind of pissing me off at the moment so if maybe cross platform matchmaking even makes it in the PC I don't know maybe that's a bit of a stretch but anyways um, you could um, and then maybe you kind of as you do these contracts you kind of take back friends from the Templars in kind of planet side two, you know how the war kind of goes on back and forth, back and forth. Um, well, maybe that could happen if, even if the Templars could take back an area, if all players are focusing on one area, like they kind of, um, if one job in one area gives you five thousand, well, florins, wherever it is, whatever money they used back in revolutionary France, I'll just say m uh, money. I don't know. Uh, let's just say they gave you five thousand money in one area. But then uh, another mission was only given 500. And everyone was doing this job over over in one section of the map, maybe the east side. Well, the west side, the Templars would take take back that particular area because everyone was flooding over to this side. Uh, I just think it'd be kind of smart if you yourself pay attention to what players are actually doing, not like peed up uh, pervy on them, like, but um, actually just kind of thinking, okay, everyone's on this side of the map doing their more expensive jobs that take longer and take more time to set up. Um, that will make sure that they lose control over here um also like heists in grand Theft Auto online there has to be a big setup to your if you're killing a high profile target as a templar maybe like the head of the templar organization in like the northern area that there'd be a massive setup to that where it would you need about six to seven assassins with you and you need to go you need to go balls in you, you need to do everything you need to take out every guard or else you're just going to get absolutely flooded um, the com and the combat system would be very very good and because there wouldn't you wouldn't have to be fighting other players and you wouldn't be going oh my god what the hell just happened there I stop I killed him because of awkward combat no you'd be fighting against AI kind of thing which I think would be really cool um, and speaking of that setup you have to find your target like you have to find that stuff about him you know kind of like in Assassin's Creed one where you had to um, find out about your target where he was hiding how many guards would be around the area and it would say like if you wanted to do this mission you have three you need three investigations but you can do six so if you did six you knew more about the guards and you just kind of guards positioning and you knew what you'd be up against and it just made the it just kind of made you feel like okay 
if I do more extra stuff, I, I'd actually know how to handle the situation a lot better. Apart from the MMO kind of thing in Assassin's Creed 5, I'd also like to see a kind of upgrade system, not just like you upgrade your armor, but maybe you upgrade your, yourself, your um, your strength and all that. I think it'd be really, really cool um, because it, the way it'd be set up is that everything has a bit of a ring off effect. Like the way that I thought about it the other day was that you, uh, let's just say you do a lot of parkour. The more parkour you do, the more th you can you can run faster and climb faster and you can jump further, right? Uh, but if you can jump further, that means you can have maybe stronger kicks in combat, right? And by climbing up and pull using your body to pull yourself up, you get strong. You get a stronger body. But the way that kind of stronger body ripples off into combat, you hit harder, but your your hits are a lot slower. Like a uh, combat, uh, maybe you'd hit a guy really really hard, and it would take it would take away a lot of damage off him, but um, or it would take a lot of health off him, but it it would take a bit more strength to get up there because he's a lot bulkier of a person but you choose the kind of stature of the person but m maybe if you don't do so much combat you don't hit as hard but you're quicker so you're lighter and all that which i think is which i think would be really really cool um and then let's just say you jump further or you you jump from higher parts or you use your legs a lot more uh you can do higher you can air assassinate people from higher parts because your legs would be a lot more stronger or um, using or uh, just in general being combat between the parkour kind of ripple off each other, um, like rippling effect, like I said. Um, if you have any ideas on how that can actually work, or with even the MMO, uh, please leave that in the comment section. So basically, that whole MMO idea was I think would be really cool, and maybe the whole rippling effect of like an upgrade system would be really really cool. Um, you know, kind of like the stat system in Grand Theft Auto Five. I know this uh, this inspiration has been taken a lot from Grand Theft Auto Five, and I'm sure it's in other games before, but it has actually done really, really well in Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, maybe even stealth could improve. Um, just your your general way of looking uh, looking at situations could improve. Um, like if you're going in for like a big assassinate, like t taking out um like a Templar head of one area, um, you kind of you can look at a situation a lot better because maybe when you go in go in for an assassination um it would if you can use eagle vision it will like you know like in cri the crisis too uh it it's kind of pointed out where things were because of the visor maybe you could have that if you if you kind of synchronize go to like the synchronized point right beside that you can kind of have a look and you can tag things and then um maybe if you do that more often and make smarter just it makes um make smarter decisions when doing a, a, an important assassination like an assassination contract uh, you can make smarter decisions like if you know what i mean but anyways thanks for watching and goodbye